Professor Malik Pires is a Sri Lankan scientist who is one of the world's foremost scientists in the field of virology. Professor Pires, who has published over 600 research papers in world-renowned scientific journals, has been internationally praised for his work in identifying and controlling the SARS virus outbreak in 2003 and for his contributions to research into the spread of the measles virus in the Middle East in 2015. Professor Pires, who currently heads the Department of Virology at the University of Hong Kong, spoke at a virtual discussion where he expanded on the differences between the RT-PCR tests and the rapid antigen tests. So if we just compare RT-PCR and the antigen test, PCR is associated with amplifying the virus um, nucleic acid. The sensitivity is quite high. But then if you correlate it with infectious virus, because infectious virus is associated with quite high virus load in the patient specimens, then the correlation with PCR is low. In other words, not every person, not every test of PCR positive means that the person is is having infectious virus. Because the antigen test is somewhat less sensitive than PCR, it picks up those patients with high viral load. So the correlation of the antigen test with infectiousness is much better. The antigen test, some of the early versions of these antigen tests were not very good. But the more recent ones, uh, particularly the ones that have been approved by WHO, are, are much better. So I think we, we need to be able to use both of these for the right purposes. Because of the sensitivity of PCR, if you have a patient uh, who is sick, who you want to diagnose, uh, then PCR is probably the method of choice. Having said that, if you really want to make a very quick decision and the nearest PCR is, you know, 50 miles away uh, and uh, the antigen test may give you a faster result. So you, again, you have to judge that. On the other hand, when you're trying to control transmission and you're trying to identify people who are most infectious, for that purpose, the antigen test would be quite satisfactory because that test is, is rapid but also uh, will pick up the, the most infectious patients. Professor Pires revealed that with PCR tests detecting only genetic material of the virus and not the infectious particles, PCR tests on patients who are no longer infectious could still turn up positive. The PCR test detects not the whole virus particle, not the infectious virus particle, but the virus genetic material. So the genetic material of the virus can remain present for quite a long time after the virus is no longer infectious. So because of that, now WHO has changed its recommendations and basically says that for asymptomatic and mild patients, after eight to nine to 10 days, the patient is not infectious. So you don't even have to do a PCR because the PCR may be positive, but that does not necessarily mean that the patient is infectious. I showed that from the epidemiological, the contact tracing studies, it's very clear that by day five, day six, after onset of symptoms, there is no further transmission. Leave Ayush, Karabuniti Dantale Paya, Shakti Mat Dantipalakata.